important, the reason it's important, the examples all tie back to the one central idea. So these details support that central idea, just like he did in his paragraph. The flow, the bridges between the sentences and the beginning and ending bridge of the next paragraph. And then I can develop personal values and explain the value the tie, the value tie, to personal relationships and life goals. So, uh, your personal values dictate what your goals are in life. What the person you are will dictate who you end up marrying. Whether or not you are going to be like good choice person when you transition to the next level of your life and can be somebody that. Somebody special out there might like to get to know. It has to do with values. Uh, then I can evaluate my personal stage in life as it relates to success at this point in my life. Remember I did Zig Ziglar the other day, and these were the things that were on that paper. Happy, healthy, reasonably prosperous, secure, friends, peace of mind, good family, and hope. And at this point in your life, Things like this reasonably prosperous, you might say, well, how can I be reasonably prosperous? I haven't had a chance. Well, guys, people in our program go out and get jobs all the time. And some people put in for jobs just last week, right? Yeah. And there's nothing holding you back. You guys have that opportunity. The door is open. Don't let it close without you getting all you can from that open door. And then you don't have to worry about whether or not things are going right for your parents. Up to the point you were eight years old or so, maybe you're a victim of somebody else's choices. But from eight till now, it's your choices that count. Um, so, there are these things here. Now, uh, pick one. Tell me which one. How many think I ought to talk about happy in my first sentence? Happy. Got one, two, three, four. Uh, healthy. You take a look at the list, and then here. Secure. Okay. Hope. I think hope would be a very good topic sentence. Anybody disagree with that? Okay. Hope looks good. Okay. So hope. I'm gonna take hope, and I'll just put it here. I'll make it a little late because it'll be in the middle of my sentence, right? Okay, now, referring back to what I introduced last Friday, hope is a feeling of desire or expectation. And the expectation, it's based on what you've done or seen the circumstances of. And I gave you an example of this. Does anybody remember the example I gave last Friday? Yeah. 